because only those who are responsible enough that can stop the bleeding yeah I'm that one guy that usually replaced the blood with ketchup this is the Tenkai talk <laughs> and well this is your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi okay where to start where to start where to start okay folks Yeah, I'm just going to do this right here, right now. But 2016, we're near the end of it. And I, for one, can't say without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I'm getting tired of it. Yeah, I'm really getting tired of it. Because this whole year has been nothing but a big disappointment. We had disappointments in the gaming industry. We have a disappointment going on in politics. And upon the social front, it's disappointing all the way around. We got movements that aren't really moving. And we got murder, sabotage. And on top of that, we got killer clowns that are not coming from outer space, nor are they coming from Payday 2. Now, I know what most of you people think. Yeah, you're kind of tired of this year too. I mean there are some of you out there who are rather sick and tired of this year. I for one aren't really wrong with with what you're saying. For you see 2016 has been some year. And all it seems like the more of a year comes the worse it's going to get. And by that saying that you have people protesting for the most stupidest of things. Very stupid. You have movements that aren't even making any sense. And that's where I come in because I perhaps one of very few people in this in this world. I really do can't I really can't stand ignorance arrogance and stupidity now I check my Facebook every so often one of my friends one of my friends on Facebook who like 98% of my posts um, he comes out saying that he just doesn't like you know certain things that you know that pertain to what's going on in the social front like namely calling Kaepernick um, um, Black Lives Matter and all the other junk that's going on in the world now mind you I'm not a real man of the world Okay, I am a man of the world, but, you know, I don't care much of what's going on as far as stupidity is concerned. You know, um, like, say what Pumpernickel's doing. He, he's, he's sending out some kind of message that is somewhat stupid to some I'm patriotic to others, but otherwise, not knowing what the fuck kind of message he's trying to give out. And I'm saying this, and I'm going to move on from it. 
It's fine to be a, pa a patriot to your country. All right, I'm gonna say it like that. There are times in which you need to kneel. I'm all right about that too. But there's a time to stand. And the shit that's happening right now, we don't need to drop a knee to. We need to stand up to that. We need to stand up to that. That which is threatening our own lives. That which is somewhat upsetting to our community, to our families and friends. That in which we do need to stand up for. Not drop a knee, stand up. There have been many people who have fought for our sake so that we can walk the streets whether it be day night or in between that to where we can do our business taking care of a nine to five job bring in a decent paycheck pay our bills get our groceries and treat ourselves to something nice in between all that and another thing I need to point out of course there's a hurricane upon the east coast the south and east coast so to my east and well yeah my east coast buddies to y'all i hope y'all okay um really you, you know it, i mean we're having it nice here but i can't just say we're just having it nice here because just because we're having good weather doesn't mean that it's gonna stay like this okay we're gonna have ourselves heat waves from time to time and of course, well, from where I am, earthquakes. I'm in earthquake. I'm in earthquake territory. Whereas my friends over on the East Coast, they're in hurricane, rain, and otherwise season. Okay. So of course, I am going to be worried. So, I'm pretty sure most of you, I, I, I just have to say that, I, I really do have to say that because, you know, my friends way out there on the East Coast, in the South and the East Coast, most of them East Coast, I'm just the main main one on, on the West. Um, so, yeah, I have, to, I, I have to mention that. Um, for the most part, um... Now, I know the, the the politics are really just hot. You know, just hot between Hillary and Trump. Or which, whichever you want to call her. And whether you like one or the other or the fuck that sound is you have to vote whether you're going to vote for one side or the other or maybe you're going to vote for someone entirely different that's entirely up to you but the most important thing is that you vote not because you want you want you you're doing this because it's your right no that that's besides the point it's because it needs to be done and the only thing I gotta say is that the next person has to take responsibility 
need somebody who's adult adult enough to take responsibility for the problems that is still going on in our region in our in our continent because whether you love it or hate it or somewhere in between the facts are facts okay here we have a president the first ever black president I could care less if he I can care less of his background all I know is that he was black he was brought in the office he did what he needed to do and he sold it recent presidents have yes or no fucked and kind of fucked fucked and not fucked up in the past okay so this one president who was trying to make things right regardless of what people said just did what he had to do and regardless of if people didn't like what he had to say or how his methods were he was and is still president for a time being he's still president and what he's trying to do is he's trying to make he's trying to basically just sizing up everything equaling things out and whatnot so as I said before whether you like him hate him and well like dislike love hate all that the point is he's still the president and I'm pretty sure when the election comes the only thing you can do is pray pray that somebody anybody responsible mature an adult can take the reins of our country and get it back to where it once was that's all I can say I'm gonna leave it at that whatever your feedback is about that that's completely up to you but I'm sharing what I feel is necessary okay so I know I haven't done an episode of Tenkai Talk in a long while, and there's reason for that. I've been really busy offline, and for most who don't know what kind of busy is, um, trying to start up a business. That's why I've been. That's why I haven't been able to do any let's play videos like normally. I hadn't had the energy nor the time and I'm not gonna say I'm sorry for it but that's what's been going on I've been trying to you know raise up a business trying to help raise up a business and pretty much going to do it like in-home an in-home business we already we already have a name for it because um, it's gonna be a family-run business and we're and we're naming it after myself so therefore I can't put into details how we're going to put it into business because well we're still working out the kinks of it so that's mainly the reason why I haven't been doing much of anything and the lack of the lack of um, anything new coming from aliens, colonial marines. I'm starting to get back on God Eater. Um, plans for zombies. And the only thing I just have as a complete let's play is Demon's Crest. So that's probably the only thing. About anything else besides that? Mm -hmm. Like I said, it all comes down to energy and whatnot. So that's mainly the other reason. And for uh, and for those who are asking about other let's plays, yeah, I'm planning to get back to those when everything just kind of like 
slows down. Yes, I am coming back to that. And speaking of which, thank you guys for your your wonderful greetings of appreciation for my ten years on being you being on YouTube. I find that a big accomplishment because you know ten years. 10 years. 10 years of being on YouTube. Sorry, Mag had to do it. Um, t 10 years of being on YouTube. That That's a lot. And half of the time I've been doing Let's Plays. And I remember when I, when I first started, I used to do seven. I used to do seven videos. They were all in 15 minutes. Remember them days when most times... Your videos had to be about 10 or 15 minutes long, but it can't go farther than that. I remember them days, and of course, Pepper Tr Farm remembers them days. <laughs> and of course, um, you know, the times have changed since then. It's like, uh, yeah, you know, I did, I did a couple things differently, you know, I shook things up. When... Sheena, when Sheena gave me the idea of doing co-op videos, and we've been doing co-op videos since, and of course, that's how Random Co-op was born. That's how the RCO was born, because it really was just two of us playing something like Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, um, Clue, um, and Rampage. We tried doing other games, but you know, you know, had to be in sync and all that. And, you know, that was back in the days in which I had <laughs> Windows XP and crap ass broadband. <laughs> I can laugh about it now because, oh hey, it's been a long time since, and now it's just more of us. And we're still going on strong. We have more people. And we still do quite a bit of silly things together. Sometimes. Other times we don't. We just hang out. But other than that, no. Really, after 10 years being on YouTube and five of them have been the best damn years I've ever had well going on six to seven it really has been the best damn time of my life and I would not trade it for anything and as time goes on and people want to monetize their videos and and whatnot I'm one of the last few. I'm one of the many few viewer, many few viewers, many few entertainers out there who likes to do this stuff for free. Because, as you can tell, what I do is not to gain is not to gain um, money because I'm not really hurting for money. And I'm not really hurting for games because I have Steam and a desktop full of video games. Some that I haven't finished, some I haven't even gotten into. And yet, you know, the video game universe is very fast. And yet, in its infinite wisdom, there's so many games I would like to play. But time and circumstance and all that jazz. It does kind of put a strain sometimes, but it's not as bad. But then again, like I said, I'm one of the very few people out there who don't do this for, say, money. Because no offense, but I don't, I don't want your money. I mean, you know, really, you, you, I'm not one of those people out there 
who's begging for money. I mean, I do have a product, and that's my book. Otherwise, I mean, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it on Barnes and Nobles. Hell, you can even get it on, on the website. Hell, I, I even have, um, I even have, um, a site on, on Facebook, which I probably will add, which I probably will put on the description box below. Uh, I'll just send you the link for it, for most of you who have Facebook. But for those who don't have a link, uh, well, actually, I have a link on my channel page. I have a link on my channel page on my um, my book, and also, and also you know my my blog page and my Steam page, of course. And also, over the years, you know, I've done various games on various emulators, and I'm pleased to say that Dreamcast and Dolphin, uh, Dreamcast and GameCube, which is a Dolphin slash Wii emulator, is on the list. Now, the one thing about Wii games is that they are kind of hit and miss. Okay? Because I actually tried one. And the thing is, it requires a whole lot of tweaking. And some, some kind of run, some don't really run. And I've tried one. And that was um, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for the Nintendo Wii. And let me tell you, it caused everything to freeze. It caused my computer to just freeze. I couldn't get out of the emul I couldn't get out of the emulator. I couldn't do nothing. I had to. F I, I it basically I had to force my computer off. I had to force restart. That's what I had to do. I had to force restart. And and so you know, I wouldn't say we is off the list, but for a time being, don't request Wii games. Not to me. I mean, the only way I could possibly do a Wii game would be, like, if I had to do it live on camera. And already I am considering getting myself a new camera, something with more time on it. Because 30 minutes, you can only do so much in 30 minutes, and I want to do more than just, you know, 30 minutes. If that makes sense to you guys. So... You know, I am always thinking about doing doing something bigger. It's always about doing something bigger on my channel. I have to. You know, you have to move up and you have to move up and try to do a little bit more. So another thing I'm going to try to do is try to get PlayStation the PlayStation 2 emulator to run. And I've seen the files. The files are quite big, but they're not as big as like the games I've seen on Steam. I mean, we're talking about two, two gigs versus say double digits, like from ten to say twenty, ten to no, no, I say ten to thirty, ten to thirty gigs. That that's that's like a lot. That's like a lot of memory. And I do have a lot, and I do have quite a bit of games that do have a lot of memory and I would like to finish them just so I can get them off the list and I do have I still have games that needing that are in need of finishing so most of what I plan to do most of what I plan to do like I'm doing like the the most recent stuff in front but the stuff I'm gonna work on would be going towards the back like they're going to be backlog so what I'm gonna be working on what I'm showing you know like in the zeal parts that I make like ease 5 chrono trigger uh, dragon dragon quest 7 the original dragon quest 7 
when it was when it was over here dubbed as Dragon Warrior Seven. That's gonna be backlogged. Cause to save myself the trouble of worrying about time and and all that, I rather backlog most of the stuff that I plan to do and just say, Okay, it's done. Post it when I'm ready to post it. Cause I can tell you one thing, I used to do that when I first started. Because, like I said, back when I used to do play playthroughs, I remember the one thing I just did over and over, you know, basically what I did was go through a game and just like, boom, 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 you know, just like, I started doing sectionals, you know, sectional in the playthrough. Because that way it's like, I'm focusing more on playing the game and not much of the story you know I'm doing like what Ryu does sometimes you just skim through the story because you know you want to get through you want to get through the story and you want to get to the combat me I like the story I'm the total opposite I like the story and sometimes I read to myself if I'm not if I'm not doing it as a let's play and this before I became a let's player I used to do playthroughs so most of my backlog is like playthroughs but for those who wanted to enjoy it, that's why I just took my time with it because I read it. I read it to myself. I didn't, you know, I didn't read it out loud. Not like I do now as a Let's Player, which I add voices. I put a little character into it, you know, that sort. I mean, the most important thing about doing this stuff for about five years and so forth is you can't ever forget to have fun. And I do mean that. You, you can never forget to have fun with, you know, the projects that you're doing. Because I know there are most people who just, who do like to put some energy into it. And, you know, they want to not forget to have fun with it. That's one of the few things I like to do when I like when I do my Let's Plays. I like to have fun with it. I like to make it colorful. I like to... It's like writing a story. I like to make stuff really colorful. I like to animate my characters. I like to put feeling into what I do. And that's something that... Most people who do that on their channels, they tend to forget. Because it's all about the F-A-N-E... It's all about the ducats. And yet, most times, whenever they do something like that, they tend to forget about why they're doing this on their channel to begin with. Granted, yes, while it's important to do the videos, you can't ever forget... that the editing process is very tedious to some people they have to I know a few I know a few friends that sometimes they have to edit their videos because they will say oh this took about 50 minutes so I cut through all, all cut through all the getting lost shit and you know and what not me yeah I tend to do that sometimes but not all times especially if I know the game like the back of my hand okay well since I went through here I'll meet you when I get back and it takes longer than than what you thought it would and speaking of which there are some games I'm just gonna have to say yes and no to because you can't just flat out request any game you feel like you want to request because oh hey it's this it, hey it's that <sighs> I'm filtering out all the stuff I'm filtering all this out right now just because it needs to be said and I haven't done this in a while so I need to filter this out so do not take offense to those who want to drop 
a request to me. Remember, we're looking at all of the spectrum. That's what I'm looking at, all of the spectrum. I'm not looking at just one genre of the spectrum, okay? Now, I know the Dreamcast is just a library of nothing but arcadish to uber obscure games. I've seen the library is just uber obscure and only a few handful of games have made it out and are worth coming towards my channel and worth playing on my channel. However, instead of me doing a let's play of it, most times when I have time for the weekend, they'll be put to the chest of obscurity. Okay? So, like I said, for some games, I will try it. But just don't expect a let's play from it. But, you know, this is like first impression. So it will go to the Chess of Obscurity or Shatastic Games. I will tell you one that I almost wanted to put into Shatastic Games. And it was a recent one. And that's Sword of Berserk Guts Rage. Reason being is because, A, the controls. Never have I seen a clunky controls in a hack and slash game. And never have I seen a hack and slash game be so bold as to basically just outright cheat like that game did. And for those who have not seen the video, and I tried to make a one shot of it, um, there's one boss fight in which it was, um, technically akin to Dark Souls. And it's a plant boss. Now, the, pl the thing about this plant boss was the first part of it was QTE. That means you had to hit the button at the precise time that it flashes on the screen. I hit... Three buttons. Three buttons. I said press X, press Y, press A. I hit X, Y, and A. And I lost my I lost my life twice just because of you press A and I pressed A. I was like it didn't say press I said okay I hit A. I said, Oh, so it's like that. So it's like that, huh? And mind you, I played it on normal because sometimes on the Dreamcast, it will not show, like, after you press start, okay, you go to, you can scroll down to this mode, this mode, you know, or, or options, you know, where you can change the, you know, the difficulty on that. Originally, I wanted to change it to easy just because it made the game fly by smoother and wouldn't change the fact, it wouldn't change the outcome of the story. I'd still play, I'd still get through the game, but it wouldn't be as bad as it was on normal. And plus, you know, you you'd win you win certain things like a mini game on one difficulty. You win something more on another difficulty. And on hard difficulty you win no limit, which is like infinite fairy water bombs and And smoke bombs and cannon shots and whatnot. And it's not like I didn't enjoy the game. Oh, I enjoy I enjoyed it because, like I said, I, I'm looking forward to the release of Berserk and the Band of the Hawk in 2017. So, pretty much for the most part that I'm talking about this, yeah, there were it, it was touch and go at first because it has such a story that I basically just I was into the story more than I was into the combat 
and this become and this is like pretty much the most brutal anime that I ever heard of. I've never seen the series, so therefore I've never seen Berserk. I've heard of it, but I've never seen it because there's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in anime that I have not seen because I never had time to watch it. So that said, well, it is something that that needs that needs to be rectified. So because of the story, it went to the chest of obscurity because it really is an obscure game. Because I'm pretty sure when it came out over here, it didn't get that much of of a kind reception. So it went to Chess of Obscurity and it basically saved itself from being a shit tastic game. Because sometimes a good story can outweigh even a bad game. So you have to put that in perspective. Now, another thing I noticed about 2016. Was that the level of game creativity and production and presentation have been all but kind to a certain extent? And to those who are in the business of game production and and whatnot. I don't care what nobody says. If you know, and I mean, if you really, 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 really do know, harken back to the 1990s. Not the 80s, the 90s. We know when went down the 80s, but we're talking about the 90s. Okay? 30 years let's back on up on let's back on up about 20 years okay back on up about 20 years the 90s when it was all about the game the presentation was there okay it's all about the presentation it's all about the the response it's all about the reception You can't just half-ass this shit now, okay? I mean, I played some games that were that were sent to me from that were sent to me from the creators. They gave me a key for it, and I've tried them. And I'm not talking about you know these the ones that want to be like. I mean, the ones that were handcrafted and made. To be something out of, the, out of the creator's own design. Okay. I play some games that had, shall we say, grammar issues or bad game design and whatnot. And they didn't have to be from professionals. They didn't have to be from Capcom, Konami, Electronic Arts, Nintendo, or even Sega. Okay? These came from indie developers. Indie developers that wanted to be like the greats of their own time. Those I mentioned before. Like about a moment ago. Okay. So the one thing I had to say is. The only thing I had to say about that is. Gamers is time to be aware. Gamers. Out there. Sound of my voice. You guys got to be aware. You guys need to stop with the horde whoring 
That's right, I said it. Horde whoring. Because, really, y'all need to be smarter than what y'all been in the last couple of years. I mean, come on now. There's so many people bitching out there about what they would like in a game, but they don't give out some kind of detailed synopsis of what they like in a game. Developers. Guys, bring back control, okay? Bring some order and control to what you're going to do. You know, don't think about... Don't think about the almighty dollar. You know, it's, important, it's not as important as the creation of the game. Make sure that you work. And I do mean work every single bit out of that one game. Make sure it runs. Make sure it it responds. Especially those who do Kickstarter. No, let your product be something you can be proud of. And not just something you're just going to just like I'm just going to put it out there. I've, I heard that so many times. I'm just going to leave this right here. I'm gonna put this out there. No, please. Don't leave shit like that out there. Please. If it's not gonna run on all systems, if it's not gonna if it's not gonna respond to all systems. And, and and I'm just gonna point out a few titles. A few titles. Mighty number nine. Batman and Telltale series. No Man's Sky. Even Occupus Strip. Certain titles that sometimes need to be patched. Sometimes need to be, you know, need to be thrown back and need to be tweaked a bit. There are some games that need to be tweaked. They need to be worked out. They need, they need only, only the sole purpose of trying to get it to work for every for a console that is important you just don't quote unquote leave this right here no you don't do that this is where people will make or break a game because you quote unquote leave this right here or leave it right out there no no you, you don't do that because there are too many people bitching and whining about what works and what doesn't work. And I can go with the bitching and whining of what doesn't work and what does work. I can go with that. Because I will be... I will be miffed if any of the games that I've ever played didn't run because of... OS. I didn't have the right OS or... Or, you know, the fact that one of my um, components are out of date. Or maybe just because it runs, it's not running as it should. And it's only because, you know, I meet, I meet the requirements, but it doesn't play. When you're trying to make something that is supposedly... A product that most people will either like or dislike making it run is the most important thing it's just as important as you putting so much time energy devotion and including money into a project of this big caliber of whatever size caliber it might be whether it's a small mediocre to mega size one of the best RPGs of all time Chrono Trigger that took time to make 
And not to mention the fact that there was a lot of text that had to be made, a lot of a lot of color, a lot of graphic work, a lot of stuff that had to be made. And it was made by Akira Toriyama, the same person behind Dragon Ball, Sandland, and Dragon Quest. Oh, and Dr. Slump too. That takes a lot. That takes a lot of work. Just to make one project work in comparing it to a series. Learn from that. You know, don't just say, oh, I'm just going to do A, B, C, D, F, G. No, 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 no. You have to put in all the work. You can't half-ass this shit. You just can't just, quote-unquote, leave it there. We got too much of that shit. Excuse me. We got too much of that shit going on right now in the form of bad memes. Because, quote-unquote, I'm going to leave it there. Just so people can get triggered or, you know, it, it, it's a bad joke anyway. It's bad jokes all around. It's bad comedy. That's what it is. It's bad comedy all around. It, it doesn't it doesn't run that way and it, sh and it should not be there, but it, it exists. And, you know, since I, I do have my channel and I do like doing certain things on my channel. Try to be a little more, oh, I don't know, to some, of my, to some of my viewers out there who are still, you know, around and whatnot. Give some of the videos, I, like, give my videos a chance, you know. Don't just look at it and just like, oh, you know. I mean, to me, it's not about the views, but it's about the response. You know, I put in a lot of time. I put in a lot of effort for you guys. Because if every if every other Let's Player puts in a lot of time and effort out of their busy schedules to make videos for their fan base, the same can be done with me for my fan base. For those who kind of show up, you know, for those who do show up, I'm not saying everyone, but I'm just saying, you know, don't you think what I do is worth my time and energy? I mean, if I didn't actually care, I'd close, I'd close, my, I'd close down my account. I'd say, fuck it. I'd dump all my videos, everything that I worked so hard for, and just say, fuck it. I don't want to do this shit no more. But I'm not like that. So, you know, you got to be more, you know, receptive. It's not about, like I said, it's not about views. It's more about, I put in the time and energy in which I normally wouldn't do it. But it's like, when you put something in perspective, like 10 years, 10 years regardless of whether I was whether I'm watching videos or I'm making videos it's half and half whether I'm watching somebody else's let's plays or I'm making my own let's plays it's that sort of devotion for people that I hardly ever know That they either like what I do or I don't know. They like what I do or they don't like what I do. Because I know there are some people out there that was just like, sub, unsub. I'm pretty sure there are some people out there who would do that. I mean, you've had, I mean, some of my friends I know had some people that would do that. Sub, unsub. Just because... Oh, there's a video that you don't like. Oh, unsub. Or there's, you know, there's a series that you like. Sub. Don't like a video. 
that you don't like a video that I put up, unsub. No, it's either you're in for the long haul or you're not. That's what it is. It's about it's just about that. You're either in for the long haul or you're not. And I'm pretty sure that'll be filtering out all the filtering out all all that. Cause I know I've been because I know I've been looking through my mail. And it shows that some people have subbed. And it's hard to tell if you know, if people really did sub because, you know, the numbers on YouTube, you know, they're kind of slow. They're kind of slow on the uptake. So some people may have subbed and some people may have unsubbed. But it's like, oh, it's the same thing. But then again, you know, it, it like I say, it's hard to tell. But sometimes it has to be said. Because when I first started, because, you know, I, I faced a lot of ridicule when I first started off. Because I use cheese. And I have a rule about that. And that rule is, if the game don't play fair, why should I? I mean, it's, it's, about, it's about the same thing where most people, and they do it as a cruel joke. They play some kind of hard-ass game, and they think, they, and they think it's going to make sense. I'm looking at I'm looking at some people out there who would do that, and they call it "quote unquote" fun. I'm sorry, but no, it's not fun if you're if you're constantly getting your ass kicked and constantly thinking it's enjoyable. It's not. Trust me. If I was doing if I was doing a let's play of something that's just going to constantly make me rage, no, that shit's going to be cut just like that. No. No, I'm not doing something like that. Because, you know, if it if it frustrates me, I'm not doing it. If it if it sets me off, I'm not doing it. If it's because of otherwise, I'm still not doing it because I don't feel like trying to, like, break even on, like, say, do it a certain way and I'm, and I'm needlessly doing it for no reason. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not about the... As a Let's Player, I am really not about the the results. I'm not about how to play the game. I'm I'm about playing the game and going through it, whether it's blind or something I know from the back of my hand, or even when I'm going through, you know, something like novel plays. Yeah, it's something uh, that that goes in, without saying. Novel plays are totally different from let's plays because they're one of those kind of they're one of those kind of projects. I like to just like relax and you know enjoy a good story and provide sidebar commentary. That instead of just you know talk about the game, I'm in the game as the character. And I am playing as the character's inner thoughts. Like Planetarian. Yeah, it may be about one guy trying to survive a post-apocalyptic world. But the, most, but the most he's trying to do is save his sanity. So that said and done, you know, it's, it's, it's just like that, you know. There are certain games that I don't mind doing. And there are certain games I just don't want to do. And that goes without saying that as 2016 winds down, we're near we're nearing the end of 2016 and going in, into 2017. And I mean 
and mean this in the kindest of ways. Kind in the kindness and bluntest of ways. You gotta make a stand. We gotta make a stand about everything. I'm not being a hypocrite about what I said. It's just true. It really is true. We, I mean, there's so much at stake that most people don't know. And I'm not just talking about just the gaming industry. I'm talking about everything is really at stake. We can joke about it as much times as we want to. But, you know, for those who don't understand, don't expect you to understand. But, you know, if you live in this country, and I'm going, and, and this is the most important thing, if you live in this country, then act like you are proud of being in this country. I mean, yeah. There's racial injustice in the world, but people are slowly and steadily doing something about it. It shouldn't come as a surprise if people are feel like this is the way that things must be done. No, there are certain other ways that things must be done. I mean, young people. To those out there who are in the sports field, do not kneel. You're American, be proud of that. You stand for your country. So therefore, you stand for your flag. That's what you have to do. Stand for your country. You have your integrity. You have your pride. Many people have fought for your rights to live. Just so you don't have to. To my friends out there, yes, I may be the most outspoken motherfucker there is, but I'm pretty sure that you guys can be just as outspoken as I can if you were doing something like this, if you ever had the time to. Don't feel like you're, you know, you're going to piss anybody off. Because, oh, hey, I don't want to piss anybody off. <clears throat> doing this in my best voice, I don't want to piss anybody off because of A, B, C, D, and F. No, get it straight. You're blunt. You have to be blunt sometimes. Sometimes you have to take out the hammer and start whacking. And if certain people don't like it, tough shit. But me, I'm going to be as outspoken as possible because it's my God-given right to be as outspoken as possible to talk about the injustices of the world. What's wrong with the world? what's right with the world. I would like to say there's more right going on in the world, but that's not the case here because there is so much wrong happening in the world and there's so little that can be done about it. And when there's something actually being done about it, there's no progress coming from it because most people want to bitch about it. They want to, it's, it's like back in the 80s. There have been so many soccer moms that have taken off quite a few cartoons. One of them being Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons was quote unquote too violent because it was based off a freaking board game. Paper and pencil. It was a paper and pencil board game. Sometimes it was paper and pencil. Other yeah, it was a board game. 
and sometimes it was just paper it's a paper and pencil game but still otherwise it's a great franchise it's a great franchise that deserves all the respect in the world just like any other RPG that has ever existed and many games have been based off of D&D and even though I am not an expert in the world of D&D I damn sure damn sure know that as a gamer it is still just as popular as it is now than it was back then another series that basically was dragged off the air and it happened because of a tragedy that happened in this in this in this in this timeline was 9/11. 9/11 we're talking about Gundam. Gundam was taken off the air because of the attack that happened here in the states. What did Gundam ha what what did Gundam do? Well, you know, you know, what did Gundam do to get that kind of that kind of um bullshit to be taken off of Cartoon Network. I mean, I can imagine that when Pokemon, and we're talking about season one, when Pokemon was going through its share of grief, I remember the one episode that was never aired here, and that's called Deno Senshi Porigami had to take it off because of what it did to kids. It basically just like seizures. Caused seizures because of the rapid flashing. I've seen the scene. It doesn't really affect me. Only because most times I have my eyes squint I usually have my eyes squinted when I'm watching something on TV or when I'm on, or actually when I'm online I usually I usually have my eyes squinted just so you know it, it wouldn't be too bright for me and of course I'm having my light I have my overhead light or my um or my other light you know, not overpowering me when I'm trying to read something, so it's usually that. Um, but another thing I had to point out about that is we can't have our freedoms being taken away. I'm, pr I'm proving this as a point, as you know, there are certain things that were taken away because of either the fact that parents didn't like it because they didn't understand it or it just wasn't popular enough but I'm going to go for the latter I mean there have been so many other series that have been taken off just because it just wasn't well received and it's a goddamn shame but I know them's the breaks and all but as I said before it's time for us to make a change I mean the older the older people of my generation which I, I hail from the 80s even though I was born near the end of the 70s, I am part of the 80s. I grew up in the 80s, so therefore, I am three decades old. So therefore, I am three and three decades and seven years old. That makes me 37, if you, if you don't catch that. And I can tell you, that there's a lot of things that need changing. There's a lot of things that need talking about. 
Most of our generation, most people of our generation want to stay tight-lipped about it. And I have to say, don't be, don't stay tight-lipped about it. You don't like what you're seeing, say something about it. I mean, it's just that simple as that. And I know what some people are going to say, well, you see, it's not as easy as you think. Of course it's easy as you think. I'm just speaking what's on my mind. That's all I'm doing. If I can put it into one podcast that could take about an hour to maybe two, then damn it, I'm going to say what has to be said. I mean, the time for being meek, you know, I mean, time for being meek is over. I mean, if if anything, take what I say to heart. I'm trying to be as inspirational as I can here. You can't, it, it, nothing gets done when you're being meek about it. It's like if I'm talking about Black Lives Matter, you're talking about that because... I said, I'm talking about this because of, oh, hey, if you're a movement that that wants change, causing violence is not going to cause change. It's only going to make violence. And who are you trying, to, and, and if you're trying to do something positive, how about you do something positive that would make sense? Don't try to start acting like a vigilante group that wants vengeance for one kid. You say Black Lives Matter. Oh, fuck you. How petty can you be? Black Lives Matter. That's that's the biggest bunch of bullshit I ever heard. And quote unquote, I'm from California. Black Lives Matter, let me tell you something. If Black Lives really matter, then how come I see too many of these fools asking for a goddamn piece of change? And all they're going to do is they're going to blow it on a dime bag. They're going to blow it on drugs. They're not going to... And, and they show up in... in in food places because they think, oh yeah, well, you know, I need a dollar. You need a dollar for what? Because the only thing you're going to get a dollar here from McDonald's is a goddamn drink. Or maybe something from the dollar menu. But don't waste my goddamn time trying to say Black Lives Matter and y'all can't even get your shit straight by fixing your own people. Get them off the street. Because there are a lot of people on the street. Lots and lots of people. And it's not just black people either. I mean, I've seen... I, I've I've been on the other side of the world. I've lived on the opposite end of having a home. I was homeless once. I was homeless in Japan. I didn't ask for no goddamn handout. I never asked for... I never raised a sign that says Black Lives Matter. I said, no, that shit's petty. No. Basically what I did was I survived. I survived on what little change I had in my pocket. Went to the nearest corn beanie, which is a convenience store, and basically I lived off that. I lived off that because I had I was in a relationship that never worked out, and it was my choice in being in being um, homeless. But I never. I never gave up wanting to get home. I had people on my side helping me out, getting me to someplace safe, and 
just get me out, get me out of that situation. So it's not like it wasn't, it wasn't totally hopeless. But for those, but you know, like I said, I want to be an inspiration to those who don't, who, who needs inspiration. I'll say it like that. Otherwise, don't yell Black Lives Matter and you ain't doing nothing to help the situation. You say that, quote unquote, Black Lives Matter. Try to get your friends off. The, try to get your friends off the street. Okay. How about instead of Black Lives Matter, lives matter, just lives. Because you know we drop the all. It's just lives. Lives matter. How about, no, life matters. Life matters, not just lives. Because we are just one goddamn race. The human race. <clears throat> so, if we're talking about all lives, that means life itself matters. Think about that. All lives matter, but life matters. But in this world, we're stupidly stupidly killing ourselves because of stupid shit like oh jealousy if not that if not that over someone who isn't deserving of attention love and otherwise which is time and energy and all that if not that, then it's done by murder. We're at the wrong place and at the wrong time. That was your fault. Because most people, that's how that's how they end up getting murdered. That's how they end up being on the news. Wrong place, wrong goddamn time. It's a shame that people just, you know, haphazardly throw their lives out like that. But sometimes it's like that. Sometimes there are people that just... Sometimes people just haphazardly like to... Oh, throw caution to wind. And see if it floats. I... Don't like to do that. Because... I got too much going for me. And I've been through a lot. And I like to say that I want... That I want to be an inspiration to those... Who feel like they don't have inspiration. There is inspiration. You can live. And the first thing you gotta do is knowing that you have the freedom... To say whatever you feel in your heart... And in your mind... Let it be known. You have to let it out. And even if, and even if you have to swear. Use profanity. Not curse. There, there are people who say, you know, curse. But cursing is a lot different than, prof you know, using profanity. So it's either you use profanity or you don't use profanity. But in this case... However you have to say what you feel, that's what the most important thing is. And I'm doing what I'm doing every time I do a video like this. Which is basically, I say what I feel. I let it be known. And whether people would drop me a line about it, let it be known that my voice gets heard. My voice gets hurt, okay? And like I said, what I, and you know, if people don't like it, that that's tough. Because it's not going to stop me from what I'm doing. But like I said, I when I started off being a Let's Player, I got ridiculed. 
But I didn't let that stop me because, oh, hey, if I let one jackass tell me that I couldn't do this because, oh, my commentary sucked. Like, let me see. You're looking at an old video of mine that basically pertains to me going into dead air sometimes to not so dead air. And most times I'm focused into the game than trying to provide commentary. Let's see you try to do that, jackass. Oh, and look how many and look how many videos I've done over the years. And I'm not talking about the stuff I've done way back in the past, like twenty ten to about twenty twelve. We're talking about from twenty ten to now. And I'm still going on strong because, hey, I have a voice. I realize I have a voice and it must be heard. It's my God-given right to talk. It's my God-given right to say what I have to say. You haven't been through the shit I've been through. Okay? You have never went through what I went through. I'm one of the people who who was told that I could never hold a thought because, oh, I have a disability. I have cerebral palsy. That may be true. I have cerebral palsy. But cerebral palsy never has had me. I have developed over the years. Sometimes I do get a bit frustrated that sometimes I can talk properly. And if people constantly say that they don't like what I uh, that they don't like how I talk, well then, how about you talk? Oh wait, you can't because you're a scared little bitch. You act tough, but when in the face of time to put up or shut up, you want to shut up. Well then, fuck off. Because, I'll say this, the videos I do on this channel do not pertain to favoritism. If I feel like doing a review, I'll do a review. If I feel like doing a request, I'll do a request. Most times the requests have been fulfilled, other times they are yet to be put into stone. Because most times, I check out what I'm looking at. And I just don't, you know, just give give the benefit of the doubt and say, no, I'm not going to do it. But I have to read up on it. I have to do research on it. I have to do what needs to be done. Since I have a tool to tell me if it's worth trying out or not. If I try it out, then therefore I'm gonna make a video of it and I'm gonna tell tell my honest thoughts about it like it or like it or not the proof is in the pudding as they say so therefore the point is hey I gave this thing a fair shot so you know fair shot it is that's all it's gonna be a fair shot for a fair review, I'm not I'm not one to sugarcoat anything that just that I just don't like. And I let it be known. I, I don't like it because of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You don't hear me say something juvenile like I don't like it because it sucks. No, I tell it just the way it is. I don't like it because of these details. That you know this about the controls about the story about maybe how it handles and you know what little I find in video games you know that's what little I find I mean it's the same thing about you know doing a view about movies comic books anime T, you know, TV shows, that sort of thing. Anything that's about what you're about, what you like, 
you want to take time out to just say okay let me share my review on this like I said I, I grant no favoritism over anything to where somebody wants me to try this game out or somebody wants me to watch a program or a movie or something like that so it's not like and another thing I need to point out is I'm not really into horror because I know there are people out there who like horror and usually around September October you know I do something horror related and I can only say that I don't like horror very much so therefore I will do something not horror related but if I do one game it's just that one game that's just going to stand out and whether or not if it's done the quote unquote proper way I don't care about proper way as long as I play the game get through it and just say oh hey I'm done with this one let me take my break peace that sort of thing <laughs> But, um, no, as I, as I mentioned before, a lot of shit that is going on, we have to stand up. This is, th this video is pretty much a prime example of what I'm doing, which is I'm exercising my freedom of speech. I'm exercising what is right, what is wrong, what I feel should be done and on top of that I'm not ex I'm not exerting any hate towards it I'm only saying what I feel and what I feel matters and if I don't like it I'm gonna say what I don't like about it but as I said before he to stop the killing because life matters. Not all lives matter, just life itself matters. You know, be the ideal person that you're meant to be. That's the only thing I can say. You know what's right and wrong. Just try to be the, the most ideal person that you yourself is meant to be. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise because if anybody tells you otherwise, they're either programmed to say that or they're bullshit or otherwise. The otherwise being the latter, which is parents. Parents say what they have to say to their children because they don't want them to somehow fall into the same problems they had before we came on the scene so I can I can in response to that go with that you know you want to do the best that you can do whatever you can do do whatever you can't try but whatever you're really good at, don't stop. Make it work for something. Don't just sit on it like it's $17 on the Oregon Trail. Because again, how the fuck can you sit on $17 like that? I will never know. But that's beyond the point. <laughs> I feel that this video is long enough because I'm running out of things to say and of course like I said it's time to do a lot of things one of these things is we gotta stand up we gotta stand up for what is right we gotta stand up for what needs to be done what and what has to be done we need to stop 
following blindly what others feed and what, what what others honestly feel that they think is right in which they know it's wrong you either stand with the group or you don't you guys you gotta stand with the cause and join it just to make the cause what it's worth words to live by anyway I have been Ichigo Mosko aka Pookie Izzy 7 aka the Tenkaichi and of course this my friends was the Tenkai talk I hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making this video and if you have any feedback please please leave it on please leave it in the comments below I would be ever so grateful to be reading them as much as I was enjoying doing this video until take until the next video of whatever the hell I feel like doing this is the Tenkaichi of gaming with those ever two words that you always want to hear me say Senpai's blessings upon you my good people and Tenkai Musa have a great rest of the weekend great wonderful rest of the weekend I should say and be safe and be careful out there I'll see you next time for more videos take care God bless